today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2019 Mazda CX-5. So here we have the two most popular options. Up top here we're going to have the draw tight and down here we're going to have the curt. So here we have the draw tight installed on our Mazda CX-5, but I do want to mention that both the curt and the draw tight are going to sit about the same and the cross tube is going to be hidden nicely behind the bumper and the main thing we're going to see is the receiver tube sticking out. The first difference you're going to notice right away is how they look. Our draw tight is much narrower than our curt, and that's because they're going to mount slightly differently than each other. They're each going to have two mounting locations on the side, but our curt is going to use two mounting locations on the side of our frame rail, whereas our draw tight is going to come up from the bottom and mount to our frame rail from underneath. Even though both of our hitches are going to use four different mounting locations, I did find with the Kurt having that long tab going along the side of the frame, it is slightly more difficult because we're going to have to move some wires and work around that, whereas with the draw tight, we're not going to really have to fight anything, and it is just that slightly bit easier to get installed. Both the hitches are going to give us a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, and they both have reinforced collars. However, they're going to be just slightly different looks to them, where the draw tight is going to have kind of a rounded, more bubbled look, whereas the curt is going to have that clean, flush cut on the end. Both of our hitches are going to use a standard 5 8 pin and clip to secure all of your accessories. The draw tight, however, I think is going to have a slight advantage because of this secondary hole towards the rear of the receiver tube is going to be for the J-pin. And that's going to be a stabilization device that's going to take out a lot of that slack and slop and that rattle when you're driving down the road. Now the J-pin is not included with the hitch, but it is a nice accessory that you can pick up on our website using part number 63201. Both of our hitches are going to have very similar weight ratings. The draw tight is going to be slightly more. It's going to have a 675 pound tongue weight along with a 4500 pound gross trailer weight rating. The Kurt is going to have a 600 pound tongue weight along with a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. Now neither of these are weighted for weight distribution systems. Both of our hitches are going to have a loop style safety chain connection point that's going to be welded to the bottom of the receiver tube. But our draw tight is going to have the loop set back just a little bit from the hitch pin hole making it that much easier to get your hooks in place and not having to worry about it interfering with any kind of locking device that you may have. Whereas the Kurt is more in line with right in the middle of the safety chain connection point where that might come into be a problem if you do have a rather large locking device. Now as far as clearances goes, they're both going to be so close that it's really not even worth mentioning the difference, but from the center of the hitch pin hole on both of them to the outermost edge of the bumper is going to be right about 4 inches. And from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening is going to be between 13 and 13 and 1 quarter inches. So to sum everything up, if ease of installation is your big concern, I would definitely go with the draw tight just because it is that much slightly easier to get in place and get your hardware in going from the bottom of the frame opposed to the outside. If weight is your main concern, again, I would go with the draw tight because it has that increased tongue weight along with that increased gross trailer weight rating, allowing you to carry up to five bikes and many different options for cargo carriers. If appearance is a big concern of yours, I think either one of these are a great hitch because both the cross tubes are going to be hidden nicely behind the bumper and all we're going to see is the receiver tube sticking out. If recreational use is a big concern of yours, I would choose the draw tight. We're going to get the option to use that J-pin stabilization device for any of those accessories that don't have a built-in anti-rattle. That'll finish up your look at the best hitch options for your Mazda CX-5.